Rookies have been amazing this 2023 season, with some of them being already can establish a top tier within their position, while some others have had some amazing games, yet not a lot of people seem to notice them. So in this video, we've gathered the top 25 best rookies of the 2023 campaign so far, and hey, why keep wasting time, so let's get right away with number 25, who is Ivan Pace Jr. This guy somehow went undrafted, but still managed to clinch a spot in the Vikings roster. Well, Minnesota fans are sure glad that he did since he's been one of the best rookies across the league, tallying 55 combined tackles, a sack and a half, and one first fumble through 2023 so far, which are some pretty good numbers, especially if you didn't get picked up in the draft. At number 24 is Tuli Twipolodu. He's been quite solid with his 27 tackles and 9 assists while getting TFLs at a constant pace. He's been also being quite good at getting to the quarterback as he already has 4 sacks and 9 QB hits, which prove he's a pretty reliable player with well-rounded capabilities. Abilities. Up next, Henry Toto. He's been a beast for the Texans in 2023 with 58 total tackles in 2023. He was drafted in the fifth round on the 2023 NFL draft, and well, he's arguably playing like a first rounder right now. Great stats and even better production when you actually see him play in person. Now, at 22nd place is Bryce Young. His stats don't look particularly impressive if I'm being honest with you, but we gotta be unbiased here. This Carolina team is horrendous. Young has no help whatsoever. However, yeah, he might not be playing like the number one overall pick, but even Tom Brady would struggle with this supporting cast. Moving on to 21, Deontay Banks. He kind of started the season out slowly, but he's been constantly improving his game. He has two interceptions so far in 2023, and he's been honestly solid when covering some good wide receivers. All that despite not being surrounded by a lot of defensive talent. I mean, this young team does lack a lot of talent in a lot of positions. Cracking up the top 20, Will Levis. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very pleasantly surprised by Levis. I thought he wasn't that good, and well, yeah, he's not like he's a top tier quarterback, but he does seem as a solid starter with some interesting potential. Levis may even be the Titans' long term solution at quarterback, so credit where it is due. On to number 19, Joy Porter. He started the year on the sidelines, but ever since winning the starting job, he's been locking down everyone. He rarely allows catches to some of the NFL's best receivers, and even though he has a slight issue with flags and tackling, he has the potential to be one of the best corners in the league. Don't be surprised when it happens. Number 18, Dalton Kincaid. He's been quite literally the definition of the old reliable. Whenever Josh Allen's in trouble, Kincaid is right there to save him and make a play. He hasn't been really flashy, but hey, the potential he displays is definitely way too insane to ignore. And also, having Josh Allen as a quarterback is an asset I'm sure he'll take advantage of. For number 17, we have Josh Downs. I'm honestly surprised he was taken in the third round of the draft, especially since I had him graded as a late first round pick, but hey, the Colts got a steal. Downs has well over half a thousand yards, a couple of touchdowns, and well a route running ability I'm sure Gardner Minshew is very thankful of. Up next, the Juan Jones. Somehow he fell all the way down to the fourth round of the 2023 NFL Draft, and well so far he can make a case as the best rookie tackle out there. He barely allows a sack, and his run blocking abilities are honestly way better than most of us expected from him out of college. Moving on, Keenan Benton. The Steelers got a steal in him, and still he's been heavily underrated so far in 2023. His stats don't look particularly flashy, but he's been the heart and soul of Pittsburgh's defensive line, especially going back when Camp Hayward went down with an injury and Benton stepped in in dominant fashion. In 14th place is Save Flowers. I'm still convinced that athletically speaking, he's the most talented wide out of this rookie class. Flowers is now easily the number one receiver over in Baltimore, of course leading the way in receiving yards with slightly over 6 600. The Jackson Flowers duo is something that I think we're gonna be seeing quite often in these upcoming seasons. At number 13, Devon Chain. I expected this guy to take over the starting role over in Miami, and even though he didn't, possibly due to injuries, he still managed to surprise everyone with his performance. In the few touches he got, he somehow taught 9.5 yards per carry while scoring a whopping 7 rushing touchdowns. That's honestly very, very impressive. In 12th position is Jameer Gibbs. He didn't start out as explosive as a chain, but he's been slowly but surely handling a larger role in this Detroit offense. Gibbs has over 600 yards and 5 touchdowns on the ground, which is honestly quite good, especially considering how little he was used at the beginning of the season. On to number 11, 
7, Byron Young. You have probably not heard a lot about this guy and that baffles me quite a lot because he's amazing. 50 combined tackles, okay, 14 quarterback hits, okay, 5 sacks, like god those are some great numbers for a rookie, oh and out of the 2 first fumbles he's got. By the way, all that while being a 3rd round pick back in April. Cracking up the top 10, Brian Branch. I'm surprised this guy wasn't taken as a top 20 pick, but hey it is what it is. Stats don't display how good he's been in 2023, being a key element in this Lions defense, but hey at least that pick 6 in week 1 didn't go unnoticed. And even without that, he's been way better than most fans actually realize. On to number 9, Will Anderson. He's been amazing, quite simple, 42 total tackles, 5 sacks, I mean you literally can't complain. And even looking past the stats, he's been one of the cornerstones of Houston's defense, providing a spark for the rest of the players even as a rookie, which is truly impressive. At number 8, Vijan Robinson. I fear Arthur Smith is allergic to using this guy because he just doesn't. And still, Robinson has well over 700 yards while rushing for 3 touchdowns so far this year. But screw that, take a look at how he runs. With this in coaching, this guy can easily become one of the most feared running backs in the entire league. In 7th place is Jordan Addison. He's been honestly living up to the expectations that come along with being a mid first round pick. Addison stepped up even before Justin Jefferson went down with an injury and if he were to continue down this path, the Vikings could very well have the best wide receiver do it out there soon enough. At number 6, here comes Tank Dale. I had high hopes for this guy getting reunited with CJ Stroud, but never could have I imagined how good he would be. He can make a case as a top 5 rookie so far and yeah, he may be out for the year, but god, what a season he had. Props to him. Up next, Sam Laporta. The rookie out of Iowa went quite unnoticed during the draft process despite his potential being undeniable. Still, he's managed to be a focal point of a stacked Detroit offense and one of Jared Goff's favorite targets so far in 2023. He could very well become the best tight end in the NFL at some point in his career and I wouldn't be surprised at all if that were to happen. Now at number 4, Devon Witherspoon. He's been the definition of lockdown. Him alongside Tyreek Woolen will most probably evolve to be the best cornerback duet in the NFL. And so far, Witherspoon is showing everyone why he was a top 5 pick back in April. In 3rd place, Pukanakua. This guy is him. He's literally having a record breaking season while sharing some snaps with Cooper Cup. That deserves some high praise. Nakua has been the key piece of this Rams offense and I think he may end up as one of the best receivers in the league in a couple of years. Coming up next, Jalen Carter. Yeah, he had some legal issues coming into the draft, but the Eagles knew the kind of player they'd be getting. Carter can already make a case as the best defensive lineman in the NFL as a rookie. He's just that good. And when you take a look at his stats, you understand why he had so much hype coming out of college, despite slightly falling in the draft itself. And the best rookie of 2023, CJ Stroud. If you've watched my channel for some time, you know I've been a big fan of Stroud since college. And even with that, I'm surprised with how good he's been playing. He's right in the middle of the MVP conversation and not only are his stats amazing, but he may also lead this Texans team to the playoffs this season. Quite impressive for the Rook. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.